Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. If you take a look behind me real quick, you can see I've got eight other accounts in the server with me, including my own, which makes nine total. Using this method, you can have basically unlimited accounts in your server. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use multiple accounts to get your first secret pet faster in Bubblegum Simulator Infinity. Like always, if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton and you'll never miss out on any future tips or tricks. Now that all that's said and done, let's get on with the video. Now to use this method, you'll need multiple Roblox accounts. If you don't already have extras, just go to roblox.com and make some new ones. If you want them all in the same server, you can go ahead and add your main on each account, or on your main account, turn on joins for everyone. Alternatively, just put them in random servers as having them all in one poses no benefits. To actually get multiple accounts up running, you'll need to download a program called Process Explorer, which I'll link in the description. This isn't like a cheat for Roblox or something you inject though, it's an actual Microsoft program so there's no risks to using it. To download it though, simply head over to your browser of choice, search Process Explorer and it should come up from Microsoft as version 17.06 at the time of recording. Scroll down to where it says download, click Process Explorer and it should begin to download. Next, open File Explorer and go to Downloads or wherever your downloaded programs get sent to. Right click on the program, Extract All and then Extract. Upon doing so, it'll open three different versions of the program. So just click the one that says procexp.exe, right click, then run as Administrator. This will just give it permission to do what we need to do next. Now log into one of your accounts and join a game like usual. Here's where the Process Explorer comes into play. Open the explorer and find where it says robloxplayerbeta.exe. If you're struggling to find it, you may have accidentally closed explorer.exe, so make sure it's open and you should be able to find it. Click the Roblox player and look at the lower panel. If the lower panel isn't there for you, click the button to the right of the blue refresh button at the top of the application. What you want to do now the panel is open is find where it says roblox underscore singleton event. Right click this and close the handle. The singleton event makes sure you only have one Roblox process open at a time, but closing this will allow you to have multiple. Now that the handle is closed, log into another account, again load up like usual and boom, you've now got two accounts open at once. Repeat the same process of closing singleton event on the new Roblox process and you can get more accounts in over and over and over again. Once you've got your accounts in, they'll just be sat doing nothing. Depending on what you want to do, you'll need to actually have them set up to do stuff. So if you, for example, need them to grind coins, just have them auto blow in bubbles using an auto clicker like GS Auto Clicker. I'll again link this in the description as this one will allow you to click in multiple spots at once. If you already have them set up with coins or tickets, just head on over to an egg and enable auto roll. If you have potions, I recommend you use a loaf for however long they'll be AFK for as they'll stack. So if I was AFK overnight, I'll try and pop at least 8 or 9 hours worth of potions so they have high look all night. This isn't essential, just advice to make your secret pet chances higher though. So that is a complete guide on how to farm using multiple accounts at once. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any issues, ping me in Discord or comment below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.